with this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do the Beetlejuice makeup. First, you're going to make sure that your hair is back. Um, the tools you're probably going to want are a black uh, eye eyeliner pencil, cream makeup, or at least something that's going to make your face look white um, and pale. Uh, some of these uh, triangle wedges are really good for putting on and stuff like that. You're going to want, uh, this is the Revlon Photo Ready Translucent Finisher. It's a powder, it's very pale. It's going to set the cream makeup so it doesn't get too smudgy throughout the day. Uh, this is a color palette of eyeshadow that I got for $5 at CVS. Uh, what you're basically going to want is... It's great if you have like a whole bunch of other colors because you're going to need black. You're going to need kind of a uh, mossy green. You're going to need darker green. And it, do it what doesn't really hurt to have a darker purple or an orangey as well. Um, because it's going to kind of make it look more moldy to do the mold. I have liquid eyeliner. And it, as I said, a good dark purple doesn't hurt either. I'll put all the brands down below in the, in the comment section. So let's get started. What you want to do is you want to make yourself pale enough to look dead, but you do not want to look like a clown. This is the biggest mistake I see when I see people trying to do Beetlejuice makeup, is they make themselves so white, they look like the Joker. And yes, I know that Dark Knight's Joker kind of bears a resemblance to Beetlejuice, but you want yourself to actually look pale enough to be dead, not to be a clown. Um, I don't know how this is going to work on darker skinned people or tanner skinned. I already have really pale skin. Please let me know if you are African American, if you have just darker skin, tanner skin. Let me know how this goes, because I'm actually really curious. Try to also make sure it's not too splotchy. It might get really splotchy. That's why it might be even easier to do this with like goth powder instead of like a cream makeup. I'm just doing this really cheap and really unprofessional, so it's probably going to look a lot different than it would if you do it with more professional stuff. Another tip, don't forget your lips. Your lips will give it away that you are still from the land of the living. You also want to go over them with the white, because it'll make you look recently deceased. Try to avoid getting it into your eye sockets because you're going to be going over that with eyeshadow. And another small tip make sure you get your ears, your neck, any exposed skin. I think it'll look pretty decently dead. I'm just looking over. The good thing about us about the makeup though is um, if you miss any spots, you can always just dab on some more. Um, since this isn't going to be like probably too in depth, I'm not really going to worry about it too much. But let me just touch this up. After you put on all your cream makeup, 
or your even if you do uh, like a pale, like a goth um, makeup, like the Manic Panic um, Pale Powder. However you make yourself pale, you're going to want to use like a finisher, um, something to set everything if you're using like a cream. So I have the Revlon Translucent. That you're just going to put all over your face and that's going to keep it looking nice and not completely smudging. every time you move. It's also going to make it look a lot smoother, so it's not going to look as splotchy. And you can always touch it up. So this is me hopping in like a hot mess, just to tell you that as much as I draw the character, and I draw him a lot, um, when I actually made the original tutorial, I forgot to do a very, very major thing, and it kind of ruins the illusion. So, um, I just wanted to jump in, show you guys this, so that when you see it, you know not to do what I did, and to follow at least this. Uh, when I do the eyebrows, I just kind of went over my eyebrows, and really, if you really want to look more like Beetlejuice, and I did this when I cosplayed him, I don't know why, I forgot to mention it, you want to make your eyebrows look more pointed, more like this, because that's how it is in the movie. They're definitely thicker over in the brow where the nose would be, and they kind of come up and arch up and then, yeah, and then point down. Um, so yes, <laughs> when you watch me do this in the video, um, you definitely want to go over your brows, but make sure you make them thicker over here, point them, and then kind of come down and make them kind of pointy. It makes them look evil, it makes them look more like Michael Keaton. <laughs> Michael Keaton brows, basically. Um, so yes, do that. Back to doing the eyes. I went on to do the left eye. So I'm going to go on and do the right eye now. First I'm going to line it in liner. Because I always do that. What you are going to do with your eyeshadow, you can either, you're going to follow your brow bone, or rather your eye socket when you do your eye makeup. What you want to make sure, um, you can either take your liner and just kind of trace where the bone is, you'll feel it, um, or you can just go on and do the makeup. So either or. I actually traced it with this when I did this eye, but I think I'm just going to follow it out when I do the shadow. So I'll just go on and do that. Make sure to bring it all the way to your brows, to your eyebrows. Now what I do is after I do the black eyeshadow, I put a little bit on of dark purple. I would tip this, but I have some powder and then it's going to fall out. I'm sure. 
It's very dark purple. Um, kind of makes it look almost a little bit more bruised than... Really, it makes you look more dead than, like, Joker. Let's put it that way. Actually, if you watch the movie, his eyes aren't all black, they're kind of purple too. Blend it out a little bit. And you got eyes. So next is the mold, which is a lot of fun to do. <laughs> 